there's three bags. Did you, are there three flavors? No, just one flavor. But when oh. I saw cheese fries. It's like, I want all of them. I literally bought every single bag that they had in Aldi. Mm -hmm. Because they're cheese fries. And we're going to try them. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on our couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So I went to Sprouts looking for something and then decided to stop at Aldi, which is right across the street, because I was looking for those keto bars that we got at Sprouts yes. that are really good. We just did a review video for them. I'm going to put a, a link for that right over Rachel's They're almost head. dangerous. They're really good. And somebody told me that they have them at, at Aldi. So I went really? looking for them. They didn't have them. But I did find this. So you found this at Aldi. These were at Aldi. And these are cheese fries. And it was in the refrigerator section. And I got really excited because Apparently. I love like that moolala cheese, which is moolala. a frying cheese. And I love halloumi. Yeah. But it's very expensive. And that's pretty much what this is. This says it's a halloumi style cheese stick. So we figured why not do a review because I did buy every single bag that they had, which was 12. Well, well so you're letting everybody know what they're going to taste like because no one else will be able to taste them except for you. Well, that's true. <laughs> Hopefully they taste good because I bought every bag. But then again, Aldi has a really good return policy if they don't taste good. That's, but that's very true. You got to know what Aldi like it's hit or miss. It's there today, gone tomorrow. So if you see something, buy it all. OK, so looking on the back here. It says, this cheese does not melt when it is cooked. It can be pan fried or deep fried right out of the package or breaded and fried for a crunchier snack. We're not doing that. You, you actually say keto friendly right on the front. Why are you telling me to bread it? <laughs> you don't need to bread the cheese. If I want to bread it, I can just make mozzarella sticks. Right. Okay, so they tell you how to deep fry it. They tell you how to pan fry it. We didn't do either one. Well, we sort of did. I made it two ways. We made it on the Blackstone, which would be pan frying. And we but they're did telling that a you lot. put a bunch of oil in there. We didn't. I literally just threw it on the Blackstone. Then this was interesting. I made it in the air fryer. So let's show you the difference. So this is the Blackstone method. And then this is the air fryer method. It almost got like poofy. Yeah. Now I actually did put a little bit of aluminum foil down on the bottom because it was kind of sticking to the bottom. So I highly recommend using like that air fryer parchment paper or aluminum foil or something. But yeah, this is kind of like got like, a, I don't know, it's like a, a funny crust on it. Whereas this, I mean, this does too, but it's just completely different. So Very which different. one do we want to go with first? I feel like we would cook it this way the Let's most. Let's go this way first. Yeah. Want to dink it? Dink. It's good. Very good. I mean, maybe slightly overcooked this way, but it's good. It gives you that French fry feeling that I like melted cheese, but like I love mozzarella sticks. That was my thing. I love it like this. Oh my goodness. It's Very such a good. treat. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Let's go this way. Dink. Dink. That's almost like a breadstick. This was better. Mm-hmm. Something about the air fryer. It puts a lighter crisp on the outside. Yeah. And the inside is airier. Whereas this, you can see how it kind of started melting out. It, this isn't this an, is airier. It's not as gooey. Wow. I like them both, but I kind of like it in the air fryer better. Mm-hmm. Now, they say you can deep fry it, but I don't like to deep fry food. It's not the fat. It's a, I don't know how much fat it is. Right. No, that is really good. That's a good. They're both good either way. So five things. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. 
Does it keto based on nutrition facts? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. So number one is the ingredients. Pasteurized milk, salt, microbial enzymes. That's it. So this is basically- It's cheese. A block of cheese and they've cut it into fingers for us. Yeah, so we should open, let's open up a bag and show you this, okay? That is so funny. Because it feels like that's just something that I could do myself. So they're all different. We're going to combine these. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what it is, it's literally strips of cheese. And they're all different sizes. So that's literally what this is. It's strips of cheese. Couldn't you cut this yourself? Yes, you could. But we'll talk about that more when we get to number four. Oh. So that's that's what it looks like when you get it. See, you're just gonna put it on like the, you know, your grill, in your pan, in your air fryer, however you want. But overall, number one, the ingredients, they're really good. So let's get to number two. Does it keto based on the nutrition facts? So there's eight servings per container. Okay. One ounce is a serving, which is like a cheese every, serving. Every cheese thing. Right. 90 calories, seven grams of fat, seven grams of protein, two total carbs. Okay. Now let's just say all cheese has carbs in it. Okay. It's just a lot of times they register as less than one. Pretty much all cheese has one carb in it. And I'm going to tell you, they're probably rounding up instead of down, which I'm going to go with. But yeah. every, no matter what cheese you eat, everything is like basically a carb per ounce. Right. Sometimes it'll say zero, but it's still a carb per ounce. So I don't know why they're rounding up to two. Again, it's pasteurized milk, salt, microbial enzymes. It's like they're rounding up. I'm good with that. Completely keto is based on the nutrition label. Yeah. Number three, how does it taste? It tastes like a fried cheese. It tastes like fried cheese. It's, it's a fried cheese. I'm going to have another piece of this one. I mean, it's delicious. But I'm hoping that you're going to tell me something amazing in number four because I don't understand why I am paying for it to come like this when I could just cut up a block of cheese myself and fry it. You can't fry all cheese. Well, no, I know. But okay. like if I get a brick of halloumi. Okay. So number four. Okay. How much does it cost? This bag was $3.19. Oh. Now here's the thing. If you go buy a block of halloumi. It's much more expensive it's than It's about that. $9 for an eight ounce block. Yeah. So here I'm getting eight ounces of cheese. I don't think it's halloumi. They're saying it's halloumi style. Right. But listen, I'm buying halloumi for the frying cheese factor. Not necessarily I need fancy halloumi totally cheese. Totally works. Moolala just is good. What's the difference? Moolala's got a bunch of flavoring and stuff added. But again, $10 a, a bar, yeah. right? So wow. paying $3 okay, and $3.20, whatever it is, for eight ounces, like that's pretty cheap. That's cheaper than going to the store and buying a bag of shredded cheese. That's very true. Was this like on its way out? No, nope, it was not a clearance item. It was right in the middle of all of the cheeses. Hence why I bought them all, because it's $3. And here's the other thing I liked about it. When I buy halloumi cheese, it comes in a block. When I took that moolala, yeah. do you think I was weighing it out? Do you no. think I was measuring out a strip? That's true. I was cutting a big strip off, and a little secret, my strip was usually bigger than your strip. Really? Yes. That can't be true. Yeah, that, that's definitely the way it is. So here, though all the strips are different, it's still kind of portioned out. It really is. So now what I can do is I could take these pieces and I can take my scale. Like we're actually going to show you what does a serving look like. Yeah, what does okay? a serving look like compared to what so I'm usually we're gonna eating? So going to let it turn on. So I can just take these pieces and go like, okay, so a serving is an ounce. So that, this is two ounces. So that this right here would be wow. two, ser two servings. Oh my gosh. So maybe like one and a half of these. So that's, well, we'll go like this. So this is just over an ounce. So basically yeah. two of these strips. But now I, it's, to me, easier to do rather than taking that block and cutting it off and guesstimating it and, and using the whole block in one sitting. And again, I would eat way more than it's that. It's cheaper. It's yeah. $3.20 for an entire bag. So that's working out to be like, you know, less than 50 cents per serving. That is awesome. So I, I think it's much better. So number five, would we recommend it? Well, definitely. You don't look like you're too. Well, because I didn't, until you broke down how much it cost, I didn't understand. You thought it was a gimmick coming in a bag. I did. It is a gimmick coming in a bag. 
but it turns out to be cheaper doing it this way and more convenient. So I feel like usually you pay for convenience. Yeah. And here I feel like I'm, I'm not saving. paying for convenience. Okay, am I getting top quality halloumi cheese? No. No. But again, I'm just looking for a frying cheese to have as like part of my meal. I don't want just like a strip of unmelted cheese. Right. I want this. I mean, a lot of times we take cheese and melt it on the Blackstone just to have a cheese crisp. So I feel like you're conveniently cutting it up for me and all I gotta do is take a couple of these now and throw them on the Blackstone or I, I actually recommend the air fryer. It's cheaper, like it's a win, 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 win. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that it costs less for them to cut it up for me. Right? I mean, I think it's great. I highly recommend this. Let us know down in the comment section if you have tried this. I think that there was a one similar to this at Costco, but our Costco never had it. So I'm really excited that I see it at Aldi. Yeah, me too. Of course, our current Aldi right now, if you live down here in South Florida, they don't have it because I bought them all. Sorry about that. But if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.